Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another print quality test video. Today we've got the Epson XP620. We are going to be testing it, printing off different photos and some documents, and overall just looking into this printer's abilities. I do ask that you like this video. If you're new to this channel, I ask that you subscribe. And if you have any questions at all about anything in this video, uh, please make sure to comment below. So what I'm doing here is I'm connecting directly my MacBook with my RayQ extender to the printer with a USB cable. And this is how I will be printing from my computer to the printer. So for whatever reason you can't connect wirelessly, this is a good option. Now this printer, the laptop I'm using, and uh, the photo paper I end up using in this video, along with a link to the Robinhood app where you can get three free stocks will be linked in the description below. Okay, and here we're printing off a three page document and I'm just gonna show you how it sounds, the, how quick it is, you can see for yourself. Just remember there's no double-sided printing on this printer unfortunately so it's just the one page that's going to be coming out so that will add to the speed of the individual pages that come out. Okay, so next we are printing photo paper uh, from Canon, and this is the first picture we will be printing now. The reason why I included the Robin Hood app link in the description below is because we're going to be printing photos of three different companies uh, that are publicly traded, which you can purchase on Robin Hood, and of course you can get those three free stocks. Okay, you're going to want to make sure to go into the settings, make sure you select photo and uh, glossy paper there's a lot of different options when you're using a macbook or another apple device if you're using pc or uh, windows it may be different but there should be something equivalent to that so that when you're printing on photo paper you have the right settings and everything comes out nice and crisp just like it did this time as you can see here you got a nice crisp uh, colors are very vibrant and you'll see that in just a second here uh, how nice this photo came out so if you're printing something like a family portrait or something from a vacation that you had and you want to frame it. Uh, there's other adjustments you need to make potentially. You may want the photo like this on the photo paper or you may want it to cover the whole page. And speaking of a photo covering up the whole uh, page, this next photo we're going to be printing will cover up the whole page. Now this is another company of course, Tesla, which is very popular. You've probably heard a lot about it. Uh, but to adjust this for it to be the whole page is just pay close attention here All you have to do is fill entire page or the equivalent to that in a uh, PC or Windows device Again, the quality with this printer, you can frame these pictures. They, they are that good. Uh, you don't have to go out and buy them from CVS, Walgreens, or somewhere else online. You can print this yourself and very good quality, if not better, uh, than what you normally would get. And of course, you can adjust the settings to you know do whatever you want. You can get a whole pack of photo paper and go through the different settings. And for this next photo, we are switching back to just a kind of cropped uh, version and not, not filling the entire page. Just because the nature of this picture, it wouldn't really come out right if I did the whole page. All right, I hope this video gave you a good idea of the quality on this printer, the Epson XP620. It does a very good job with photos and uh, you pairing it up with a MacBook uh, would be excellent if you already have one that's great if you don't uh, there's a link in the description below of, again for this printer for the uh, computer i use 
and of course for the three free stocks you can get through Robinhood. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like. If you have any questions at all, comment below. And again, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe. That's really all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.